Hello? Hello. It's your dad. Hey, dad. Work to exhaustion when you're young. Have you ever heard of a weird saying like this? Just remember, I'm always behind you 100%. Don't be afraid. I know that you're brave. You can do it. Don't forget to call me periodically during your adventure. I can make a record of your progress when you call me. Oh yeah, I deposited $30 into your bank account. You have your ATM card? Withdraw your money from any cash machine and buy whatever you need. Good luck, my boy. I feel like such a hero. What? Well, father of a hero, at least. <laughs> wow, gee, thanks, Dad. Maybe it was too easy? My name what? is Brickwood, the dungeon developer. I've devoted my whole life to making dungeons. Well, by combining my skills and Dr. Andermatt's intelligence, I can become Dungeon Man. Dungeon Man. Now there is a comic book superhero that I haven't heard of yet. Can't be your psychic. Mm -hmm. Sounds like a... Actually, that sounds like an awesome idea for a D&D &D superhero. I want to be Dungeon Man psychic. The first combination of human and dungeon in history. Let's meet again once I've become oh, Dungeon so Man. Hope you Would you like be. to get a good night's rest? Sure. Alright. Once upon a time, we were many, many, every day, slowly or less and less. Why? Hmm, boing! Gwah! You finally made it. This department store is going to be your grave. Gwah! You will be gone, and you'll be burning in... Well, you'll go to heaven! You don't want to waste your time, Lucius. Would you like me to obliterate this nuisance for you? No, he is not of interest. Holy Sarah, boss! <laughs> I thought you were a goner! <laughs> then shall we leave? The others are waiting. No! Not that! My face! Ah! <sighs> Master Egg, are you okay? Yes! Yes, I'm fine! You were having that dream again, were you? Oh, I swear I'm going to get my revenge! I'm going to make her pay! Hey, boss! Alright, listen. The boss wants his stuff by noon. Failed to comply? We're gonna have to uh, roughen things up around here. You don't want that, don't you? Yo, Adriano! We got a problem here! Can't you see I'm busy here? This better be important! Look at this! I see. Alright. We need to go see the boss. Let's blow this joint. Oh! And I haven't forgotten about you! When I come back, you better have the goods or else you're dead! You hear me? Dead! Benito and Adriano dash their way to see Tony, their boss. They enter a building which above had a sign that reads, The Gangster's Hideout. Inside, it was packed with some old and new Sausage Clan members. Some were playing cards, others playing pool and darts. They come up to a door where two Sausage Clan members were guarding, both female. <laughs> you got beat up by a girl ghost? <laughs> Dave, come on, it's not funny. <laughs> of course it is, dude. Lighten up. How can I lighten up? She came from nowhere and hugged me and grabbed my face. Wait, hugged? She didn't even fight you? Oh my Dave. god! Dave, <laughs> please stop. You are so whipped, dude. <laughs> Seriously, dude, you gotta learn how to defend yourself. I know I wouldn't let myself get jumped by a girl. I just thought of something. If we can somehow get her to think that you're a good-for-nothing asshole, then it'll be all good, right? Well, if that happens, then it'll all smooth over. So all you have to do is act that way in front of her. <clears throat> I get it! You're totally right! Damn, you're smart, Josuke! Yeah, yeah, thanks. I mean, not that being complimented by you is a big deal or anything. What should I do to make you go think that I'm bad for her? Well, girls usually dislike mama's boys. Or, you know, guys with bad hygiene. D definitely not the mama's boy thing! She might do something to my mom and put her in danger! Then we gotta go for the bad hygiene thing. If you go all out with this, she'll start to hate you for sure! Alright, Koichi. Starting today, don't take baths. And don't brush your teeth. And wear the same underwear every day. And 
scream. Lice and fleas in your hair! D don't fool around! I'm serious here! I'm completely serious too! And fart all the time too! Well, yeah, you might have to be pretty committed if you want to keep her that way. And I remember, she said something about liking your potential? Then maybe you should start acting petty or something. Or maybe even tell her that you're gay. Or maybe shoplift. Steal something totally useless. Not you too, Josuke! Oh man, that'll make you hate you for sure. And drool and sneeze while you do it. And wear smelly socks. People are going to come in and out of your life. It's just how- God, the way she's looking at us, I can't- Not, I know, it's so sad. <laughs> Not every friendship is going to last forever. So cherish your friends while you still have them. And when it's over, don't dwell so much on the bad stuff. You had some good times with MR, but you guys grew apart. Learn from it and keep moving forward. There are so many new friends to make, and there's gonna be so much more cooler than Emma R. And the rest, ultimately, I think this says way more about their character than it does about why, yours. Why, how is this game so well written that I'm sitting here, like, trying to fight the response of giving genuine advice to Amanda? <laughs> <laughs> because you're amazing. And if they can't see that well, that's their problem. Okay. I just have never been good at those. I just feel as if because of how I look and act, people expect me to love horror films. So I must play the part. Truth be told, I don't know if I have the constitution for them at times. Amy, and I I'm so sorry. If I had known, I would have suggested another movie. It's quite all right. I actually did my find myself enjoying this one, thanks to your help. Graveyards, however. I think there's something rather beautiful about death. Cemeteries are traditionally built away from cities, away from the realm of the living, and it keeps us rather separated from it. To acknowledge death and become comfortable with it, I think, gives us a certain intimate knowledge of ourselves. To sit amongst generations of those who came before us, to be truly alive, in the midst of so much death, brings me great comfort. Death helps me appreciate life, to savor every second. Hey, hey, party people! Everyone in the room turns their attention to oh, the DJ. God. DJ Spinmaster Quinn coming at you with the sound that people want. Oh, please. We're off to a good start. This next tune goes out to all the ladies in the audience. Ladies, let me hear you say yeah! A few half-hearted yeahs echo through the crowd. It's all right. No. <laughs> all right! He sighs again. <laughs> I, um, man been a heavy couple days. Oh, no, stop. This next one's actually just from my wife, Sandra. Uh, I hope we can work things oh, my out, God. my little honeysuckle vine. Oh, that's all depression. <laughs> the DJ begins playing Creep by radio. That again. is! <laughs> you know, it's funny. This reminds me so much of when I was younger. I have been meaning to ask, what did you do before you started preaching? It's uninteresting. I left home young and got into a lot of trouble. What kind of trouble? Trouble meant I got to... <laughs> Take two. <laughs> Trouble meant I got to go wherever I wanted, whenever I wanted. I hitchhiked around the country, went on adventures, met all kinds of people. Did some stuff I'm not too proud of. But I was young and in love, and I didn't have to answer to anybody. And now... I host fundraiser car washes to take kids to soccer practice on the weekends. And to take... You don't fundraise to take kids. <laughs> How poor I have to pay for gas. <laughs> Sorry, I don't mean to get heavy here. It's okay. It's about an hour north of here, a little spot I've been going to since I was a kid. My dad my dad used to take me there all the time. I don't think anybody else knows about it. I brought everything we need so that we can catch some trout, have a nice little fire, and enjoy the nature. My, uh, my fishing pole's in the shop. Gonna get tuned up. Do you maybe, uh, have an extra I could, uh, borrow? Well, of course! It's probably not as nice as it sounds like yours is, though. Right.